Little is known about this star at the center of our solar system, yet it dominates all of life on Earth. A quick glance around the room is proof that times have changed. I am comfortable in saying no one knows for sure what the sun will do next. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to a light and easy, no frills rant about how science really doesn't seem to give a shit anymore about the sun. This doesn't count solar scientists. This only counts all the other divisions. And somehow, a lot of telescopes and satellites are down. That's right. The Canadian France Hawaii telescope, which is awesome, has been offline for maintenance for seven weeks. It's been offline for seven weeks. Shoot, I'm sure India could build their own Canada France Hawaii telescope in five weeks. It takes you guys almost two months to do maintenance with no word when it's coming back up. That seems suspicious. I used to see the Eve X-ray. I used to pull still frames of it every day to show the coronal crown cavity or sun baby, sun fetus, as I like to call it, until NASA pulled it. I mean, that camera broke. But it just looked weird, right? And if that wasn't weird enough, if you've been watching the Ghost Eve camera for a while, there's always been this one little chunk that won't go away. It's like that Eddie Murphy skit about taking a poop. There's always that one chunk that comes back. And you're like, what do you want? And the sun's had a chunk that wouldn't go away for a while. And then right before all the filament madness, the Eve goes to shut off. Like, poof, we're out of here. You know? Like, oh, hey, that's, that's weird, too. So we got multiple weirdness here in woo-woo land. And I stated many times that the stereo behind camera is 99% dead. Now, hey, guess what? Scientists and journalists, the ones that would respond to me, would say this is part of their normal maintenance that they had scheduled. And I was like, no. I thought I would tell you that. Earth Science News. Yeah, I know. Weather on Earth. An increased fuel consumption. I'm going to tell them about the climate change. Yes, the stereo cameras are going down. Yes, the stereo cameras are going down. The cameras are broken, or they're going to break, or... We're going to shut them off. They don't break because they got hot, but just crap. And I got good word that, yep, they were having trouble, buddy. And people are like, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's scheduled maintenance. Well, guess what? Words out. NASA solar forecasting takes a hit as sun grazing spacecraft stops phoning home. A NASA spacecraft has been out of radio contact for about two weeks, but the agency is still holding out hopes for rescue, as am I. One of the stereo solar terrestrial relations observatory spacecraft stopped phoning home to earth on october 1st immediately after a planned reset of the spacecraft if the solar behind spacecraft can't be recovered this could cause a data gap in our mission next year which is unique because it looks at the far side of the sun the sun's ass on the website nasa didn't say how badly solar weather forecasts are affected but in other materials, they have said both stereo spacecraft are a crucial part of this work. A crucial part of this work. Whereas there are no real threats from dark matter. There are no real threats from the Big Bang. Science is obsessed with it. Spending $15 billion 21 years building James Webb Telescope. The sun and solar forecasting can affect and disrupt and screw a ton of crap up. But for some reason... Science just doesn't seem to care about the sun anymore. It might be because it doesn't want any data coming out that would disprove or suggest their statement that the sun does not affect climate change. You know, I mean, that's how it's probably one of the stupidest things I've ever heard science say that the sun has no effect on climate change or the sun has a negligible effect on climate change. It's like, okay, buddy, why don't you shut the sun off and tell me if the climate changes? You know, I mean, you got giant coils sticking out of the sun. It's been freaking out for a long time. Nobody cares. And I asked some of the reporters at University Day, 
Did you ask them when they plan to put up new and improved stereo replacement satellites since these have been up for a decade now three years past their prime? But no, I got no response. The truth of the matter is, is that while NASA will be putting up or has put up five to six climate change satellites this year, there are zero plans in the works to put up a new and improved stereo satellite system that will allow us to properly monitor the front and the back of the sun. You know, it's the way it is, man. It's a foobar world. You got a bunch of sun cameras mysteriously breaking for unknown reasons, which makes me sad. Sorry, this video ain't funny, but you know, it's not a funny fucking situation. And ask yourself, for the last hundred years, the big oil and petroleum companies have been pulling a hundred quadrillion cubic feet of oil out of the ground, natural gas out of the ground. How big a hand did science play in that? You know, it seems to me, dude, that big oil could not have done it without science anyway. You know, so for them to be mad at big oil, you know, it seems it's like Charlie Sheen getting mad at prostitution. You know what I'm saying? Okay, great. God bless everybody. Have a great day. NASA's fleet of heliophysics spacecraft watching the sun from all sides improves our understanding and enables predictions of these solar outbursts. It's tough to keep a secret. Hello, world. Surprising but true. Every day on average. Record snowfall, killer tornadoes, devastating floods, there's no doubt about it. The weather in the USA has been positively wild. But why? Something unexpected is happening on the sun. Like an unruly teenager took advantage of its newfound freedom, and the results were even more disastrous. With global repercussions for climate and weather, what will happen next? Wild weather on Earth and other planets. I am comfortable in saying no one knows for sure what the sun will do next. I guess what I'm saying is that Professional science, could you please take a break from being so passionate and enthralled by climate change and recognize that the solar fleet is old, outdated, and breaking down. And if you're going to spend $15 billion studying the James Webb Telescope, which studies dark matter and the Big Bang, it's probably best to spend some money on the sun because the sun matters. The sun is powerful and very important. And, and if you don't really care, for us the people, could you please at least act like you care? And, you know, you know, you can say, like, oh, we're going to put up a new stereo A and B, and we're going to give it a $100 million budget, and it'll, it'll be out in 21 years, just like the James Webb Telescope. So you guys wouldn't even have to put it up for until 2035, and we'd already be on Mars, right? Anyway, God bless everybody. <sighs> Remember, never look directly at the sun during an eclipse or any time. I got blood moon fever. It's driving me crazy.